Hello, it's Mark Matosh, GF Markham 3D, and today we're going to be talking about the displacement map or the height map, whichever you want to call it. Now, I got these textures from textures.com. Um, so far, we've got our color map, which is goes into our base color, roughness, and we've got our normal map. We are going to be using this displacement map. So let's go Shift A to add in a new node, search, and we'll type in displacement. From here, I'm going to Shift D to duplicate just this image node put our color into our height and i want to select our height map from here i'm going to add in displacement into displacement nothing has happened so far let's now add in a subdivision surface modifier just to give it a little bit of um, extra geometry to work with so at the moment i've got this is my geometry just a little bit i'm going to add modifier subdivision surface and I'm going to put viewport to about four. Still nothing has happened. So what we've got to do is we've got to change the render engine from Eevee to cycles, come down into material and in the settings section, displacement, we change to displacement and bump. Still nothing has happened. If we come up here into the top right hand corner and actually go into render view, we can see that we've got this jagged mess. So let's come down into the displacement and change the scale to maybe 0.1. And we should probably change our lighting source from sun, which it is. And now you can see just how much detail is coming off that texture map. So there we have it, how to use displacement map in Blender. If you like this video, please press like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out and keeps you up to date with my content. 